Today, we're going to demonstrate and discuss the usage of the bonus smart round that is being used on the front lines of Ukraine. There's combat footage in this video as well. And it is a top-down armored penetrator, and it comes with two submunitions, and it's designed to kill, neutralize, or disable a vehicle, as well as the crews. I hope you enjoyed the video. Russian armored and mechanized units typically conduct raids during Ukrainian changeovers, or after long firefights where the Ukrainians are exhausted due to prolonged engagements. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate the usage of the bonus smart rounds, a top-down, a top-attack submunition that's designed to penetrate the top armored of mechanized vehicles and kill and injure the crew inside, as well as disable the vehicle. We have several T-90 platoons and BMP-2s. We are using a special forces team to spot for us, as well as a UAV. We have a defensive line on the outskirts of Vuledar, and if we zoom even further back, we have our artillery units that will be conducting our, our artillery strikes with their bonus rounds. So we're going to hit this play button, we're going to go down to a times one, and we're going to zoom back in. We're going to ensure that we have God's eye view turned off, and then we're going to demonstrate the bonus round that you saw in the previous video. Here we have a T-90. We're going to target that one specifically. Each of these weapon systems has two submunitions, and this is a platoon of three T-90 tanks. So we're going to discharge four submunitions. So four just bonus rounds. One, two, three, four. Those are all going to fire, and then we're going to target another platoon of T-90s as well. We're going to send four more that way. And these are semi-smart, or they're smart munitions. They're going to fly, they're going to burst overhead, and then they're going to drop some munitions and effectively destroy this mechanized unit. And as you see, there's a round already on its way. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to manually target some of these BMPs as well and an attempt to break up this armored assault that's going on. We're going to grab our other artillery platoon and he's going to target the BMPs. So we're going to hit the front line to ensure that they can't go any further. Two on him because that's a platoon of two. So this should be a platoon of four. So four submunitions should destroy at least four, four vehicles. We're going to destroy this BMP platoon as well. And remember, this highly kinetic, highly technologically advanced warfare is far more lethal, and these weapon systems are far more deadly, as you saw in that previous video. So we shouldn't really need a lot of rounds. And there we go. Easily, we destroyed one. We have a few more coming down. We have two T-90s, so let's wait for that. Here comes another round. Still, looks like there's still one vehicle left. And here comes another one. All right, all T-90s are destroyed in that position, and we are basically just disabling this raid before it even happens. So we have uh, this looks like a raid that's going to take place. They're going to attack, attack this front line, and we need to completely stop them. Here we're still raining down more artillery on that specified position. Another BMP platoon down. Here comes some more artillery. And as you see, the more precise it is, the more the deadlier it is, and it's easy to eliminate all these armored vehicles, destroy any crews that are around, and basically just make anyone's day the absolute worst. Oh, wow, look at that. We have a lot coming in. I was just making sure it was still raining hell on these guys. This one seems to be a bit inaccurate. So we have four rounds coming over there. And everyone should be getting targeted in this position now. Our, our special forces are doing their job. And they are targeting. Oh, see, as you see, it does do the air bursts above. And it sends two submunitions down. That T-90 is not going to be around much longer. Another round. We're going to zoom back out. I'm going to take a look. Our front line doesn't even really know what's going on. Our UAV is just watching all of this go on. And that's that's awesome. It actually did damage those BMPs. Well, we should already know this, taking out those BMP-2s. And these submissions are just blowing up, taking out all the armored vehicles, and ensuring there's no more raid that's going to happen on our front line. And it's going to give our front line, or our defensive line, just time to rest and recover throughout the day. All right, and they're still kind of ranging it. They're just hammering away on those positions. And hopefully we start hitting this last mechanized platoon. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what the range is, honestly. It seems like if we hit control, is it D? We're a good 0.1 nautical mile away, so maybe a good few hundred meters. I'm not sure what the dispersion radius of the bonus rounds are, but I would be really interested in know that, knowing that. And here we have a whole bunch of artillery coming down. This BMP 2 platoon isn't going to be around much longer. So it seems like it really just wants to make everyone's day absolutely terrible. But when you saw in that video, it's a top-down attack weapon system. Ooh, so both rounds hit right there. What is this? This should be, it's telling us, Mark 1, everyone's getting spotted. There's a fire. There's heavy damage. And that's basically it for that BMP-2. So that is the bonus rounds in Command Modern Operations. We um, mounted those. 
and we launched them at a qu real quick mechanized platoon, and that was really fun to do, actually. I was hoping it would look more like a missile and less like an artillery round, but what can you do? All right, guys, peace.